good morning students as i have finished the explanation of this particular chapter resources in my previous online class so today i shall discuss the exercises of this chapter so let's start so number 1 answer the following questions uh question number 1 is why are resources distributed unequally over the art so the answer is the distribution of resources depends on various factors such as physical nature of the place the physical factors include terrain climate height above sea level etc since these factors vary in different parts of the world resources and that is why resources distributed unequally over the earth so the next question number 2 that is what is resource conservation resource development is the method of utilizing our intelligence in order to improve the quality usability and utility of a resource number 3 why are human resources important human resources are important because they have an intelligent mind which can make best use of nature to create more resources had humans not been there different substances would not have been resources their utility can only be realized by human beings so next is why sorry what is sustainable development so the answer is we should use resources in such a balanced way that we satisfy our needs as well as conserve them for future this concept is called sustainable development so the next is now that is number 2 tick the correct answer number 1 which one of the following does not make substance a resource so the options are utility value and quantity so the option will be number c quantity next which one of the following is a human made resource number a medicines to treat cancer spring water tropical forest so the answer will be a medicines to treat cancer next number 3 complete the statement biotic resources are a derived from living things b made by human beings c derived from non living things so the answer will be derived from living things next differentiate between the following number a potential and actual resources so the difference between potential and actual resource are a potential resource is not being used currently whereas an actual resource is one which we use currently the next point is a potential resource can prove useful and become an actual resource in the future whereas an actual resource might have been a potential resource in the past it may end up in the future example of potential resource uranium deposit in ladakh whereas example of actual resources coal deposits The next point is the entire quantity of potential resource may not be known whereas the actual quantity of an actual resource is known. The next is ubiquitous and localized resource. So the difference between the ubiquitous resource and localized resources are uh, number 1 a ubiquitous resource is one which is found all over the world whereas whereas a localized resource is one which is found in a particular region or a physical condition the next point is its presence is not governed by physical condition and whereas the presence of a localized resource is governed by physical conditions the example of ubiquitous resource is air whereas example of localized resource is minerals so students 
Now I'll show you a flowchart so that you can recall the types of resources that we have studied in a, in our previous online class. So here it is. Types of resources. So there are three types of resources. They are human made, natural and human. So human uh, natural resource is divided again into many resources. That is based on level of development. It is divided into biotic and abiotic. So biotic example of biotic resources are plants and animal kingdom, kingdoms whereas example of abiotic are air water. Again based on origin it is divided into renewable and non-renewable. So example of renewable is solar energy, wind etc. And the example of non-renewable are fos uh, fossil fuels and minerals etc. Whereas based on utility it is divided into potential and actual whereas example of potential resource are solar energy and tidal energy etc. Whereas uh, example of actual resources is fuel energy, wind energy etc. Again, based on distribution, it is divided into localized and ubiquitous. So, example of localized is minerals, goals, etc. Whereas, the example of ubiquitous is sold, uh, sorry, soil and wind, etc. And those which are found everywhere. So, students, today I have discussed the exercises of the chapter 1 resources. Hope it will be helpful for you all. Here I conclude. Thank you.